Good morning, Anna Killian. How are you doing? How are you holding up? Y'all, we are three days from the next selection where Trump officially gets selected again. That's what the PPP scam in the spring was about. Now, next 72 hours are going to Express Tuesday are going to be absolutely hair raising. Uh, they've always said they don't know who will be the definitive winner, probably till around the beginning of December. Because you already know there's going to be a recount. Gonna be, this one will demand a recount. That one will. It'll just be this drama. Going back and forth. It's like a tennis ball. Throwing it back and forth. Um, just remember. Trump has done what his money masters have told him. And that's what matters. He's done what the money masters told him. So there you go. He will eventually be officially reselected. Um, now how... Personally, I'm going to get through the next 72 hours, starting on Monday, because that's when this will come out, is pray. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you be, you may want to drop your knees and pray like you ain't ever prayed before, because what's going to follow Tuesday, when there's no definite answer until probably into early or mid-December, if that, um, it's going to be absolute chaos. You got stores on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills, California, boarding up, and they don't board up for nothing. Uh, you got Walmart pulling guns from their uh, cases and ammo off the shelves. Now, some of them have backed, up, backed down on that. And reconsidered. Yes, cat, you can come out here. Now, like I said, some of the Walmarts put their books, put their guns. But, yeah, books. I'm sure we will come to a time when books will be just as dangerous as a gun and ammo. Not yet, but give it time. Um. <laughs> Some of the Walmart has said, you know what, uh, no, we're not going to do this. It's, it's crazy. But the ideal, they would even consider it, should tell you they know what is coming. All of these um, big people in over the, all these big companies, they know what's coming. Politicians know what's coming. They know everything. They have already briefed their money masters on what's coming. They have already briefed their staff on what's coming. They were told the 17th of last year in a closed caucus meeting for both sides what was coming. Of course, you and I are not allowed to know. Because those meetings are exempt from the Freedom of Information Act. They're exempt from becoming uh, public meeting minutes. We will never know fully what was said in those closed caucus meetings. Which makes me wonder if we should just take the Constitution and wrap it around Sherman Road and add that to our toilet paper herd. Um, stockpile. We stop chewing on stuff. She likes to chew on plastic. She likes to chew on books. Just whatever she wants. Of course, she came in and got after me this morning. And then she went to tell me to lay down and took a little nap. So, you know, there you go. That's a cat for you, right? Now, dogs have packs. Cats have stuff. 
Alright, back to what we were talking about. Next 72 hours starting tomorrow, starting Monday. I would say be ready to be ready for anything. Keep have your head on swivel. Always be looking left, right, up, down, behind you, in front of you, and just keep going like that. I know it's exhausting. I know. Believe me, I know it's exhausting. Now, at this point, if you have flashlights, I would say go to Dollar Tree and get a bunch of batteries. Uh, make sure you have water. Make sure you have food. Make sure you are in a position where you can hunker down in your home while who knows what the hell is going on in big cities like Detroit, L.A., New York, Chicago. Chicago has actually going to implement a curfew from, I think, last Thursday, and it'll go till, like, the following Friday after uh, the selection. Now, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of pushback saying selection. They're select. Yeah, Friday 6th, or, or it might be going till the 9th. I'm not sure. But... The fact that there are cities doing this, it, it tells you something. It should speak volume. I don't remember a city ever, ever going this far to prevent violence. Not even in 2000 with the whole recount thing with Al Gore and George W. It was cities putting in curfews. Businesses did not lock up. They did not board up. They are boarding up now. The ones that aren't still boarded up from the spring. This is something we need to pay attention to. We need to be have what uh, it's called situational awareness. That is simply when you walk through an area have your head on a swivel. Be looking at everything and everyone. I am one of them people. I will not sit with my back facing the door. I want the back booth with my back to the corner so I can see everyone and everything coming and going. I'm that person. That's just the way I was raised. Okay? If y'all knew here, my late father was first generation Green Beret, and a lot of that stuff he learned, he taught me. And there's just some things that have stuck with me through the years. So, to it on, I got fruit fly running around here. So, in conclusion, be ready, be prepared up. I have your water, your food, your flashlights ready, your family ready. And just be ready for anything. And I've said, I don't know how many times I've lost count. Be ready to pray as a family. The Father in Heaven will protect you. His Holy Son, Jesus Christ, will protect you if you ask. You have to ask. Until later, be well, be safe.